going on guys welcome to another video today I'm installing this it's a evap system delete kit from smart moto I'll chuck a photo here of what it is um, someone messaged me on Facebook about it it was George thanks George for sending me a message on Facebook about it said he installed this on his CF motor 800 MT and it uh, stopped the jerky throttle so I'll uh, run the intro and explain what we're doing after that From, goes from a fuel tank through a uh, solenoid valve into a carbon canister into the air intakes, throttle bodies I think, um, to recirculate any of the fuel, evaporated fuel, so it doesn't go to the atmosphere. Um, so apparently this is meant to sort out the jerking of throttle. Don't know how, but we will see. Um, might take about one and a half hours, two hour job, but we'll uh, see how that goes. So, in relation to how the bike's going now, I've upgraded from the sprocket. I've had that for a couple of thousand Ks now. Um, jerkiness is still there, definitely not as bad. And the chain tension is definitely better. Um, I don't have to tighten the chain every 500 Ks or so. It's actually stayed tight. Um, since I've put the new chain and sprocket on. So obviously the old chain was stretching. Um, and the chain is much better quality, high quality, doesn't stretch. Um, and the sprocket, you know, it reduces the RPM by about 100, 150 RPM. Um, so you just need to be in a lower gear. So if you're usually in like six, you go back down to fifth. I think it is so yeah when you got in first it, you do a little, little bit more acceleration to get off the line but you don't really notice it you get used to it. it's pretty easy to um overcome so sprocket i'm enjoying it definitely a worthy upgrade um if you're gonna upgrade the chain as well because the oh, stock chain sucks it just stretches um for this oh this is the website to get it from um, I'll put a link down below. It's from um, it says Smart Moto. Uh, on the back, it's got rated ratedparts.com. Apparently from Steve. So thanks, Steve. Let you know how this goes. So what comes in the kit is basic. It's two pieces. It's a little uh, plug, so you don't get an error message in the, in the computer. And then two little n n cover things, whatever they are, we'll figure out where they go. Um, there is instructions online how to do it. Uh, I'll chuck another input here for them. Um, that's just generic, that isn't bike specific, so. If you've got different bikes, it must be pretty much the same thing. So move over to the bike and see what we need to remove to get to the EVAP canister. So EVAP canister is located up behind here. Um, you can feel it and see it just up uh, underneath these guards here. So to get it off, I think I take fog light off. Crash bar has to come off. And uh, we'll see how they go. So what I'll do is I'll take my camera mount off for now. I actually don't really use this one much. Once I get that off, I'll take the crash bar off and I'll uh, meet you on the other side. All right, so crash bar is off. I actually did end up spraying a little bit of WD-40 on here because this is really hard to get out. So it looks like it's actually started to rust in there and 
I lost that cap ages ago, so. Well, that's off. All right, next thing to do is the fog light cover. So fog light cover, two screws. So fog light cover, couple of screws here. Allen head. So you got two five mil Allen keys, Allen heads. That should just pop off. And looks like it's stuck with a rubber mount. Maybe, hopefully. Oh yeah, okay. So that just slides back like that. And then we have to get the fog light off as well. Just jumping in here to say this first bolt that I did, you don't actually need to undo it. Uh, it's actually mounted to the plastic that comes off as all as one as the uh, fog light sort of cover there So don't worry about this first one the top uh, right one It's just the one below it and the two that are on the fog light there that you need to worry about to uh, get through it That's a cover off one, two. You gotta take the three bolts off there. And the fog light still there. I think we have to take this crash bar off as well by the looks of it. And that could be fun. So the yep, canister just sits behind there, but it actually does look like we need to take this crash bar off at least. So that's gonna be a couple of Allen key bolts here and a couple of Need some deep sockets in there. All right, so what I've done, taken that cover off there, just a little five more Allen head there, taking the Allen head out of there, and that's loose now. I just need to get a deep socket down in here to take this crash bar off here. All right, I'm going to assume it's a 13, but it's probably a 12. No, it's a 13. Everything is 13 on this bike. No. Make things a bit easier. Didn't even check my SD card before I started recording, so I don't know where we actually got up to before it died, before it ran out of memory. Um, so just a quick recap. I ended up taking that off. Um, that was just a 13 mil up there, a couple of bolts there, easy as. The whole fog light fairing came off. Um, unplugged the fog light and the plug little uh, mount there from the side. If you're wondering what that hole is, that was when I tried to mount my uh, aftermarket auxiliary lights and I drilled a hole there to run the wire through, which I didn't end up using. So, now, I'll uh, quickly show you what we're looking at. All right, like I said in my last video, that's where my radio is leaking, just in there, way too bright. Um, so, gonna look at that while it's all apart. Um, but what we're looking at is the EVAP canister here. This is what we're looking at. This is what we're looking at taking off. So, we'll, uh, I might bring the camera in a lot closer and give you a rundown of what we're looking at, what we're gonna remove, what we need to extend, because we do need to extend a couple of these um, hoses. So that's my uh, overflow one, but we do need to extend another one down here. So, all right, I'll bring the camera in. We'll see what we're looking at. Okay, so this is the EVAP canister. So obviously um, we're gonna have a look at the diagram and see what goes where and what we need to reroute. So, let's have a look at how this goes on. Okay, it looks like there's a couple of uh, Allen key bolts under here. Uh, there's another bolt here. Uh, 
Uh, right. Um, there's another. Oh, yeah, there's another one back there. So there's another Allen key bolt way back hidden up here. There we go. Another little one there. This should come out. All right, so let's. All right, okay, so. Now I've uh, got it out, I'll try to explain what's going on. So this is a canister, it's got two five mil bolts there. Um, this solenoid has this plug here, which is on a short lead. Uh, this has got a metal clip that you push down, pull out. You need to get your hand up in the back to get that off. Um, solenoid's on a little rubber grommet. Let's see if we can get that rid of that. Here we go. Yeah, we've got some more room. So solenoid that goes into the uh, throttle bodies. Um, let me get a light and camera up in here. I'll show you what's going on. I might just use my phone. Okay. So like I said, this hose here goes into the throttle bodies. So there's a wire junction just there, which goes into the throttle bodies down there and then another one over the other side there what we're going to do is we we did get those um, plugs to plug up these throttle body hoses but instead of that i'm just going to put a bolt in here maybe zip tight to the breather hose there just so we've got a bit of uh i don't have to get my fingers in there it looks really fiddly so solenoid that's the plug i was talking about it is on a short lead so don't pull it out too much or you will break it um, I don't really know what else to explain here. Um, and the box. So pretty much, this is from your fuel tank and that gets extended. And that's about it. So what I've done, I've got the pliers, moved that uh, clip out of the way. Just gonna use a pick to pull this hose up and off. And then the same one from the solenoid. Yep. Use the pliers to get that off. Come on. Okay, and that's our evap canister off. So that's what we're removing. Now let's get into what we're doing with this uh, kit. So from the kit, we got this plug with the resistor on it, and it's just going to go straight into here. So make sure it goes the right way. All right, that's clipped in, out of the way. So the breather hose to go to the throttle bodies. I've got a stainless bolt that I'm gonna stick down in there, tight. And I'm gonna move this uh, clip back up. Use a stainless just so it doesn't rust out on there. Um, cause more issues than it's worth. Chuck that back on there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna zip tie this here just to that bolt that uh, hose there so that's blocked off now i'm just going to zip tie that yeah make sure it doesn't bounce around anywhere now what you want to do is you want to grab your knife and cut that zip tie flush like that so you don't cut yourself on it every time you go to uh, work on your bike this one here I'm gonna do the same 
Um, there's a wiring harness up just in there. So it's going to run the zip tie around that wiring harness there and around the uh, plug there. And now that's way up out of the way. And then we're going to cut that tie off as well. Nice and flush. All right. So I'm back. I had to go get hose because got to get it before I started this project and a joiner. So just got a uh, eight mil joiner from Bunnings and some, it's a, I think it's a six mil hose, silicon hose as well. So flip around here, we'll see where we're going with it. All right, change up a few things. Um, so hose, got to work out where you're going to run it. So I said, want to run it from there down here past the exhaust and there is actually another hose at the bottom of the bash plate where it fits perfectly. So that's where we're gonna run it. Um, the hose joiner should fit. So that's the hose there, run that just here, uh, down alongside the uh, vent hose for the uh, overflow, put a couple of cable ties on that to hold it there, and that's sitting out, it's actually pretty good, it's sitting out the bottom by about a centimetre, so I'm just going to leave it like that, it's not going to get caught up on anything. And it's not going to feed back up through the bash plate. So it's up under there somewhere. Let me just take this camera off and I'll show you what we're doing. So, hose there. Comes out, goes down. Cable tied cable tied and there and that's it there the number two hose just there so. all right now it's just time to put this back together the way it came apart all right so I've reset the camera um, I'm just gonna put this back together now I don't know if you can hear outside but it is pouring rain it is not very good actually while I've got it open I'm gonna give this a bit of a clean up this is where the Coolant's leaking from the hose. All right, so bike's back together now. Um, leftover parts will be your canister. Um, I did actually say to take the bolts out of the bottom of this uh, on the video, but you don't actually need to. Um, it's only these two bolts in the carrier you need to take out to get it out. So a couple of spare bolts there. So now that's removed, got the plug in, um, did give it a quick test run. Haven't been out on the road with it yet, but just started up right for a few minutes. I don't know if you can hear that. Typical Melbourne. It's sunny for now. If you can see the bottom of the garage, it absolutely bucketed him out about 10 minutes ago. I don't know if you heard that thunder, but phew, there's another storm brewing. So I don't know if I'm going to be out on the bike today, but. Might take it for a couple of laps, see how we go. Um, if I don't get it out today, um, I might do an update video. If you don't see another video of me riding the bike, I didn't get out. So, um, put a couple of hours away. I'll chuck a link in the description of um, where to get those parts from and uh, the extra hose that I bought and the clamp that you need. Um, I'll just chuck everything in. 
I just got um, silicon hose from super cheap. So um, yeah, pretty simple. Uh, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it's 30 bucks that I probably didn't need to spend and two hours that I probably didn't need to spend doing the bike. But that's time and money that you don't need to spend. So I'm happy to try these things out and give it a whirl if it means that you don't have to. So if I recommend it, I'll let you know. All right, if I don't see you out in the road, see you in the next video, bye. All right. All right, welcome to a, oh. All right, welcome to the ride. So I've uh, installed the EVAP kit a couple of days ago and now I'm out testing it out um, to see how it goes. So what I've, um, I actually recorded this video yesterday and completely stuffed the audio up. So I'm redoing it now. So I've already been out a couple of times on the bike since, um, but the bike is, smooth like before there was a bit of hesitation between um, when you're sitting sort of like 60 just sort of right on the edge of the throttle open closed it was a bit jerky and didn't like the hesitation there but now it's actually really smooth um, quick shifting through gears seamless just no cut off no jerkiness no sort of lagging at all it's just, uh, it's very smooth. This is the road that I want. Yeah, it's the road that I want. Um, I really enjoy it. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. Um, for 30 bucks, the ride, the, uh, I haven't actually commuted or anything on it. I've just done a few, um, a few little rides here and there around. Um, now I'm just going to do some exploring, some dirt roads, and um, but yeah, uh, for 30 bucks, it's great. Like all it is is just a resistor. I just remove the kit and the resistor to trick the system into thinking that it's still there and operational. But yeah, so it it's um, it's fantastic. So if you uh, if you have any uh, if you want to get it done, you want to do it, get it done. Um, 30 bucks, a couple hours of your time, try to follow my instructions. If you need help, comment down below. I'll try to get back to you as quick as possible. Like I said, all the links for the parts are uh, in the description down there. And uh, yeah. So next week's video is going to be on the new camera and the new camera the two new cameras that you're looking at here um, so I'm doing a whole new video on these two cameras and the system setup so I know people keep asking me I want to hear the exhaust I want to hear the audio of the exhaust be patient guess what next week I'm going to put some uh, raw clips in of the exhaust sound so we'll uh, We'll get on to that and we'll see you in next week's video, which I'm actually in the process of recording as we speak. Alright, that is all for now. Let me know what you think. If you've got any concerns, questions, comments, leave them down below. Like, subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.